Well, hi there. I just recently appeared on MTV Catfish. If you didn't see the episode, it's called Sham and Philip. It's rerunning on MTV and other streaming platforms. Check it out. Now, I just want to make this video to tell the truth about what really happened on that show. I have done many reality shows before. Even on the most low rent reality show, there's a makeup artist, a hairstylist, there's a trailer for me to sit in when we're not shooting. You can usually like repeat things if you make a mistake. The director will be like, can you hit this point, hit that, say this, say that. On this show, it was nothing like that. This is some kind of like investigative journalism type thing. They just show up with like 25 cameras and like whatever happens, happens. So, you know, I, I was not used to that, to say the least. I, I told a bit of a lie on the show, which you, you didn't see because they cut it. But as Neve and Cammy were seeing that my expectations in the situation were a bit unrealistic, they asked me, have you ever seen the show before? And I guess it wasn't a lie, but I kind of exaggerated. I was like, yeah, totally. I've seen it. No. Like the night before we shot, I watched like one clip online and in the clip, it was like a happy ending. The people like met and fell in love and lived happily ever after. And so I was like, that's what's going to happen to me. You know, now if you haven't seen the episode, just stop watching now because spoilers are coming. So the situation was that a guy was contacting me saying that he was a prince. Actually, he didn't say he was a prince. He said he was royalty, which I jumped in my mind to that must be a prince. And he sent me a picture that was hot. He was like a hot guy. But everybody keeps saying, like, how could I believe that? How could you believe that picture was real? Let me tell you, the guy was hot, but he was not that hot. I've had hotter, okay? And newsflash, I'm a drag queen, not a scientist. So I wasn't thinking of, like, all the red flags because magical things happen in my life all the time. So, you know... This <laughs> didn't seem that unusual. I am looking for a rich man, not a hot one. I've had enough hot guys. So I was per perfectly prepared for him not to be the guy in the picture. Like, I don't need another hot guy. They're nothing but trouble. They cheat, they lie, they're broke. I, I don't need that. That's not what I'm looking for. So, you know, when, it, when they did the investigation, turned out it wasn't his picture, I still thought it could have been a rich guy of some kind of royalty, just ugly, which uh, fine with me. I could, I'm not shallow, you know? Then another thing which I feel bad about is I was like getting angry at Neve and Cammy because I thought like they knew something. I thought, I'm like, these people know something. They're not telling me. And it turns out they know as much as I do. They're, they're going into this, like doing an investigation. So like if I hadn't grabbed the phone when I grabbed it because we were trying to like communicate with him and I just demanded to like call him right there and then he gave us an address, we never would have had that address. It just happened that that's the way it happened, right? So then I'm like reading the comments and like people are like, this is scripted. Bitch, if this was scripted, you think I would have been cussing the way I was cussing? Look at the thing. The whole thing's like beep, beep, beep. The other comments I read was like, is she on drugs? No, honey. I was nervous. I was completely a train wreck of nerves. Like, you don't know what's going to happen minute to minute to minute. And for all I know, the person behind the door could have been a crazy stalker. Okay, now, it turned out the person that was doing this was actually my friend of 20 years. His name is Mike. Now, was I humiliated? Was it mean? Yes, it was a prank. It was totally humiliating. But I was humiliated because of my dumbass. I fell for it, right? And I don't want anybody coming at me like, how could she still be friends with him? You don't know the nature of our friendship. Mike is like my family, first of all. Second of all, Mike was trying to make me laugh. This was a joke for Mike. Mike is literally a hilarious person. So Mike was like, this is funny. Did I think it was funny in the moment? No. Am I laughing now? Yes, okay? Because nobody can laugh harder at me than me, which gets us back to the comment section. Now, there's a lot of people in that comment section that are saying things like, that's a man. Honey, let me tell you something. 
transgender people, we are aware of our biology. If we weren't, there would be no reason to transition, right? Now, while you're in the comment section being the trans FBI and being a Karen, um, I'm living a fabulous life. And frankly, to all transgender people out there, that is the best revenge that you can have on the haters, is to live your life and stand in your truth. To Neve Shulman and MTV, you guys have so much bravery for putting me on MTV at a time when transgender people are losing their rights. It's illegal to be a drag queen now in certain states. Thank you, guys. Thank, God bless you for taking a chance on me. So in the end, honey, this was a blessing. Not only did I repair the relationship with my best friend, who, by the way, people are not disposable. You can't just cut them off. I've never been able to find a friend like Mike. So I got like a family member back. And that was the most, I would say, amazing thing about this. The, the thing that's like, I guess, a little deeper and, you know, is that I got to really show the world me. And to all transgender people out there, I might be as passable as a $3 bill, but I am beautiful just the way I am, and so are you. So thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you.